We saw this coming as advertisers flee, ITV are desperately clinging on to their family values. We're a fan. And now they've roped in the big guns, Alison, yes, poor, lovable Alison Hammond is being forced to admit her dying love for Philip Schofield. You know, I loved Philip Schofield and it's weird because I still love Philip Schofield. Mm -hmm. However, what he's done is wrong. He's admitted it, he's said sorry. This is ITV's way of reassuring the British public that don't worry, don't worry, we're still a family with a heart. Oh, and forget about the years of toxic workplace abuse and the fact that we covered for a convicted pedo and his brother. The internet's talking about it and so are we. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Where do we begin with this? The crocodile tears are out in the form of Alison Hammond. Yes, ITV are pushing her forward to make these public apologies. Well, I wouldn't even classify this as an apology. More of a, we're a family, we're gutted, we're devastated. Really pushing the family narrative and they've got Alison Hammond at the forefront. But I'm really, I mean, as a family, we're all really um, struggling to process everything. And I'd, I'd never know what to say. And I just don't want to, I don't want to say anything bad because obviously I'm in conflict. Of course, of course. I think, yeah. I think so That's many of us are. I think, I, think I think it's really cruel just watching it unfold, uh, the fact that they've used Alison in a way. They know how much how loved she is and they've almost used that to their advantage and gone, all right, we're not going to put out any more official statements while the inquiries go on, but you you go and, you know, bring out some tears and just, just reassure everyone that we will love each other, each other and everything's fine. I think there has to come a point that enough is enough. What do you take us for, idiots? And if you did previously take the British public for idiots, times have changed. Everyone's seen your true colours and we're not going to accept this whole, ha ha ha, everything's great. It can't go on like this. It's all pretend. They're trying to convince us that basically it's a happy, fun workplace where it's really safe and everything's just nice and bubbly and cheery. That couldn't be further from the truth. It's all pretend. Philip and Holly have been putting on this brave, oh yeah, everything's great. They did it whilst they were in the papers and there was an ongoing feud with them and they've done it for years. I mean, if you needed more proof, just look at those scenes when they came on screen and pretended to be friends for a whole week, even though we knew what was going on behind the scenes. Alison's actually been exposed online because she recently, whilst all this Philip Storfield stuff was going on, she liked a tweet which was sharing a video by Kate Hopkins where she talks about the whole Phil and Holly fallout. And it's the fact that Alison was actually pushing the narrative. So if you look at it there, um, that the, the tweet that she actually liked says, pull up the carpet, get yourself a seat, more dirt to dig on Scofi as ITV retreats. Have we heard it all? Katie says, hell no. Sit down with your popcorn and let the story blow. So Alison Hammond, behind the scenes, she's liking messages like that on Twitter. And then she's coming out with the tears. I don't know where to go from here. I, I like Alison Hammond. I think she's a great, lovable, fun, bubbly character. And she serves the purpose on this morning. But at the same time, it's this whole fake persona and the public are growing tired of it. They, they can see through it now. There's only so long. So ITV need to cut their losses and they need to come to a stage where they need to just go, do you know what? We're not going to be this fake pretend bubbly. Everything's fine. We're going to open up about it. I mean, it's taken them about two weeks to actually discuss it live on air and actually admit that there's something going wrong behind the scenes and actually discuss. It's taken Philip Schofield, in fact, all credit to him in this circumstance in the sense of he's put out his public apology, his statements. ITV, meanwhile, are step have been stepping back this whole time, not saying much, not giving us much answers. And now they've got this external investigation on. Anyway, lots going on. This whole story seems to develop day by day. In fact, hour by hour. Can't really keep up with it with these uploads. Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.